You're not gonna believe it, but our man Stetson Wright has picked up a third event and he starts it right here on the beaches. Watch out for the bareback ride. It's coming. Also, Statler, there's still an imprint of you from your bull ride right there. <laughs> that was epic. Epic bull ride, epic bears, epic Bronx. Rodeo time. There's bears? Bears. <laughs> Statler's gonna watch our new bull buck. He's thinking about getting on one. We're gonna show Stetson what it's all about. That way him and Stetson can go together next year. Where's your spurs? I don't need them. That's a secret. Oh. <laughs> you just put them in your rope. Are you gonna drop Kai if he spurs one down? <laughs> I think Kai would drop me. What is, what's your dad gonna uh, think? Just if, if he stays on. I'm not mad, I'm yeah. just disappointed. <laughs> if yeah. I stay on, we're good. If I don't, then yeah, nobody problem. sees the video. Just yeah, we, just the whole cut, world we just cut that. Yeah. We're only here to make you look good. <laughs> yeah. No. If you fall really off good. and you don't like it, then oh, no, we're gonna the pass. four of you get to vote. Then you're gonna pass. Oh. You're gonna bash him like you do the the interns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get on with just a flank rope a lot. Uh, no, my dad doesn't believe in letting me own bulls at the house, so I never even get on. <laughs> Dang. So you just got on at the rodeo, and then if I went to practice anywhere to practice, like they were bucking bulls, so I never got on with a with, flank. With just a flank rope? Yeah, I was going like through high school and stuff. I got on some good stuff. That was probably too good for me to get on. Really? Well, it worked out, whatever <laughs> you did. I better take a picture of Santa. The, the world famous <laughs> and rider. <laughs> Is he feeling bronchy today? Bronchy. Ryder? He's ready. He looks ready. See the fire in the Usually he's already asleep by now, so yeah, no, this is a, this is an off day. <laughs> Think you can throw this one, Boots? We got the man up there. And this is the perfect bowl to like get your legs where they're supposed to be. Yes, sir. All that. And like right before you nod, know, get a hold of your calves. Well, honestly, I would drag your spur up across, and when you feel it hit your rope, yes, sir. go right in front of it, and okay. then get a hold of your calves. Yes, sir. Right when you nod, that's when you point your toes down, and it should hit that. You don't put it in your rope, but if you put it in front of it, yes, sir. to where when he leaves out of there and you drive forward, your spur will hit it and yes, stop sir. you. Okay. I'd run your hand in just a little bit more, because when you roll it up to get up on there, yes, sir. it's going to so roll it right where you so have it. More. Well, just your hand. Put it yes, in there just a little yes, deeper, barely. Oh, okay. Right yes, there. Sir. And then when you take your wrapper knot, whenever you roll yes, sir. up, it'll go to where it okay. Because I'm the same way. I don't want my hand clear in yes, there. Yes, sir. Isn't he so polite? He's so polite. <laughs> All right, a little more, please. One more if you can. One more. <laughs> yeah, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Here he comes. He's turning back. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Whistle! out and then he <laughs> drug him down the fence like immediately. <laughs> good job. Thank you. It looked good. You you probably got a lot more out of that than you think. Yes sir. That was good. Really focusing on having your toes out a little more. Is really you say good. toes out or chest bow bowed? Was I getting like a C in my back too? Oh well, I was just trying to turn your toes out. It yes, looked sir. like you stayed good but I was yeah, honestly I didn't say just looking at your feet. Right on. Thank you so much. You bet. I really do appreciate it. Sir. I yelled at him. I was like, get one more jump with your toes out. And that bull we'll drug it down the fence. <laughs> he said, I'll help you. Let him roll. You're going you to ride bulls and punch bulls? Like you were marking them out and then yeah. you were blowing out and then bringing them. Like, don't wait till you blow out. I'll fight for you. Yeah. Mine's not as big. We're cool. <laughs> and yours was last year. Really? Yeah. Like you probably want a little more money. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm getting on this one. Where's your spurs? Where's your hook? Where's your spurs? Where's your hook? <laughs> <laughs> Who's pulling your flank rope? <laughs> All right, we got Statler Wright. He's getting on his first bull ever. We're on the beaches. 
He's in the shoot. He's about to nod for him. <laughs> Cody Wright, Sadler's dad. This was his idea, not mine. But I am an instigator. All right. He's nodding for him, bud. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. He's hung up. He's hung up. He's hung up. I got you. I got you. He's hung up, boys. Good job, Statler. <laughs> the rope went straight to the front of his neck. Oh, yeah, you look like you're having so much trouble. He's a bull rider now, boy. Hey, you want to be an intern? <laughs> That's not near as fun as I remember it being. <laughs> Man, it normally takes you like nine loops to get that. Cole? Rider, higher. Rider just stuck it on him. I thought they were, pick up men were supposed to like slap them in. Is that not, that's not good. Rusty, what you got for him coming off of uh, a buck off with a little bit of an injury at the end of it? This is ne this is first horse back after being drugged. Uh, forget about that. Forget about how you don't want it to feel. Just only think about how you want it to feel. Because you can tell your mind what not to do all you want. You're probably going to do it. But if you tell it what to do, it listens a lot better than what you're telling them. Because like, if you tell yourself, uh, don't miss this horse out. You're probably gonna miss it out. You know, if you get on and you say, mark this horse out for two jumps and have fun. You're probably gonna do that over, you know, your, your mind's a little powerful thing. And, but make sure you don't think about the time before. That's done and over with, can't change it. So think about how you want it to feel. Injuries come with the sport. It's gonna happen, so don't think about it. Just, if you don't think about it, it happens a lot less. When you go to get on, that's when you should stop thinking. Because you've already been thinking about it, you know, riding the spur board, doing, working out, whatever. You, you've already thought about it all week. And then once you get to the rodeo or to, uh, go to get on, that's when you quit thinking. That's when you let your reactions take over. Because you can overthink things and make yourself literally lock up and black out. You know, as soon as you, if you're thinking about, because you can only, your mind can only think about one thing at a time. If you're telling yourself to think about lift and staying back, like all that, you're just going to black out. So right before you nod, just take a deep breath nod your head like just let your trust your stuff like trust what you your preparation pretty much trust your stuff my dad always tells us trust your stuff so pretty and simple he, yeah. he never <laughs> stopped saying it yeah he said that from the start yeah the only thing i think about when i'm nodding is lift what do you think yeah that's all i think i usually just think about the first jump or here lately i've been just thinking about the first jump but then somewhere in there, I quit lifting, so I'm trying to... See, that's what I... I was like, I was like man, I got to go back to what you just said. I got to go back to just focusing on just lifting. Yeah, because if you're not lifting, you can't do anything else. Like, right. And it seems like if you've been on enough, like, just just lift, thinking about lifting, everything else just kind of happens. Like, really. It's all about manipulating the mind in a good way. Yeah, it really is. Like, this other day, I got on my first one back in 10 months, and that's all I was thinking about was lifting, like just lift because I, I was lifting really good before i got done on so i was just thinking this lift 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 and I, it went really good on the first one back and i go to denver and i was thinking like uh, stay back lift like really like try to spur this sucker right at the top like i was thinking about too much i forgot to do everything <laughs> so i just got thrown off like it but and then the next day in denver i was just thinking about lifting and then for three jumps three four jumps i was fine and then I was like, God, oh, throw your feet higher. And I dropped my rein and just started getting in a wreck. Like, so just, just think about lifting. Cause that's really, you gotta master lifting before you can do anything else really. Cause lifting will make your feet move. And if you're lifting, you're naturally gonna wanna get back. So it, lifting just kind of solves everything. If you're just, you know, getting under your rein and lifting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be quiet on this one. I'm gonna let Rusty yell at you, so. <laughs> So one, one guy yelling. Lift. All right. Lift, 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 lift. You're hanging on lift. Yeah. yeah. You, you started and you were lifting, you were lifting good. And then it, when he started circling, you slowly just started hanging I on I could it. feel myself doing it and I just didn't know what to yeah, do. Yeah, so, when, so now I feel bad because you should have went shorter range. Right there, his, he never took his head. Yeah, and you, I think you were overthinking too much stuff because you didn't even unholster him on your mark out. You know? I know. But it's probably because you were thinking about too much. I was thinking about lifting. Yeah, I mean, don't make that a habit, but that was probably good because you, you know you got the, but then you slowly started going like this again. 
You don't, you want to pick up. That's why you want to get your elbow out and pick up. Yes, sir. Because if you're straight on like you were right there, and then you're just hang, like, hanging on it, it gets your shoulders all, and then you start leaning on it. Yes, sir. Like, I, that is really the only reason for the elbow to be out, because it, then you pick up on it, and it, it helps you get away, because if you're straight, the, them horses are stronger than you are, and it's just going to make you go like this. Yes, sir. Or, or else, like, you're going to start leaning on it to, to try to get their head. Bull riding's easier. <laughs> just saying. It's really you dig. It is for me and Stetson, really at least. This ain't the PBR. <laughs> he was over there talking. I was he said this ain't the PBR. He said well, you were over there talking. Go ahead. <laughs> I got you, Stetson. Let's get a after ride. What would you think about your your ride here on the beaches on our old Tony? Ah, oh, he was amazing. I feel like I'm winning the world title here. Really it it compares, right doesn't it? Most definitely. You heard it here, folks. Uh, it's a better feeling than winning a world title. Spurnable on the beaches, getting the approval of his hero, Dale Brisby. Yes, sir. Pretty much is what you said. Yep, exactly what I said. Roll the tape. My man's spurring bulls on the beach. I don't need the slide ride, that's what I did. Yeah, 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 He's riding for Dale now. <laughs> that was the greatest get off I've ever seen in my life. This outline looks like something from a damn cartoon. <laughs> you can see every, you can see his friggin' foot. I went to get off and he stopped and I looked. What was that? That right there is a is an outline in the dirt like a cartoon. <laughs> Like they fall off a building into the asphalt, you know? <laughs> I said this on the video earlier, but like, I did a, a, a podcast with Marcus Luttrell, and I was telling him we had those knocker balls out here, and we got them in. You seen them guys fight bulls in big knocker balls? Well, these ones that we got were like, they only stopped at your shin. Well, we blew them up, and somebody put them on, and we were like, oh, we'll do it anyway. And Marcus Luttrell, he's like, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. He said, don't ever lose that right there. You know what I mean? That feeling, that like, let's do it anyway. Let's, let's, you know, like, let's try some. That's why I love how y'all two just got on this bull out here. Like, you don't even <laughs> ride bulls. <laughs> that was so cool. And you just come yeah. off of another world title starting your year. It is just I, like, sorry, I went to let's just have fun and ride a bull. I, it just reminded me of I like, the <laughs> Navy SEAL mindset. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Stetson, you gonna get on a bareback horse now? Yeah, I'm ready. Where's my glove? Oh, he's already got a No, on. use that cotton glove. Oh, come on with it. Come on with it, old son. What about you? Not a chance. You tried one new event today, try another <laughs> oh, new <shoot>. event. <laughs> you ever been on a bareback horse? No. Probably will never, never crawl over the chutes on a bareback horse. Stetson, who's your favorite bareback rider to help at the NFR? None. None. <laughs> Very bad lad it goes. Bad lad. Ryder, you want to get on bareback horse? <laughs> rather drink turpentine and piss on a brush fire. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like to get on the back of the chutes and get pumped up for your bronc ride during the bareback ride, though? No, I like to stay in the locker room and save my back. Yeah, you don't even like to go watch it. No. I like to watch it on the TVs. <laughs> Who's one bareback rider you would help if they asked you? Oh, definitely not Casey Field. Definitely not Casey Fields. Ah, shoot. That's it. Yeah, none of them. None of them. Yeah, you're bronc stomper. <laughs> I haven't heard good things about that guy. St Stetson, Stetson's lucky that you help him in the bull riding, He's probably. Luck, very lucky. If we weren't blood, I wouldn't help him. Fight, Kevin. <laughs> Stick that mark out and fight. Fight, 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 fight. Whistle! Whistle! Yeah, right or right! You suck, Cole! Good job, Ryder! Good job, Ryder! Good job, Kevin! Good job!
Good job. How did it feel? What pumped you up more? Be honest, Dale Brisby or all four Wright brothers? Dale Brisby. Okay, good, because I've signed your paycheck. <laughs> I'm going your first. Are you gonna do it? I'm gonna try. <laughs> are you about to get on a bareback course? I'm gonna yeah. try. Are you gonna Are you gonna tell mom? Yes. I'm so tattling. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even loosen the rigging, bud. Hey, it's pulled. That a girl. Statler got on his first bull here. I ain't doing the bareback riding though. That's for sure. Tell Casey what now? I'm coming for him. Casey Fields. <laughs> A man here, he's coming for you. Yeah. Hey, so what was that stuff like? There's no bareback riders you would help. Now all of a sudden, your 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 other brother's gonna add a third he's a event. Definite, maybe. You, you might have to. We'll see how good he is. Yeah. If he if he can do something about it, if he marks him out, we'll think about it. Yeah. If not, he's gonna. Have to What's your dad gonna think about this? Uh, well, he's gonna. Don't know what I'm he's probably cooler about it than he is bull riding, huh? I don't, my dad rode barebacks and bulls and bronx and roped and yeah cody you bulls. did it it was all around man you did it cody that we doesn't can... work in an argument yeah he's tried it <laughs> Stavis tried it yeah, is it okay if he gets on your practice horse kev yeah i think it's okay <laughs> <laughs> you'll let it slide yeah i'll let it slide this time well now i'm really getting scared oh, i'm still <laughs> Kind Where's of... the music? That's what got me into this. <laughs> <laughs> no vest, no tape. <laughs> We need to get a picture, a still picture, so we can post it, or have your autograph pictures of that. Okay. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. I can't either. <laughs> and you freaking did it too. I did. I mean, first one was a world champ. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> all around. You're supposed to be good at that. Your brother, right be literally right before you nodded, Rusty said, I heard someone say, squeeze your butt cheeks. Do that. <laughs> I was just trying to think of everything I could squeeze and I got up there. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Did you give him some pointers, Kev? No. Kev, you've been on five bareback horses. You've got more experience than Stetson Ride. How does it feel? <laughs> well, he did a lot better. <laughs> I thought spur off the fence, and then as soon as I did, he was just like, what? <laughs> it's not the same as bronc riding where it feels real good off the fence. Well, I think if I knew what I was doing, but I didn't. I was just hoping for the best. What do you feel like? What are the odds that we see on another bareback horse oh, in 2023? Maybe here. Yeah. That's what I meant. Maybe. Yeah. That's, it feels quite good. Might have to go home and do some training. <laughs> Look out, Casey Fields. He's coming for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Rodeo Time. Saw a lot of great action here. Wright Brothers all making it making it happen. Riders picking up. Stetson got on a bareback horse. Stadler got on a bull. Um, Rusty didn't do much. Except coach. Rusty, you want to get on something? I don't want to cripple your horses. Okay, well, fair enough. Thanks for watching. We're on to the next one. Follow these guys. Watch them all the way to the NFR this year. And uh, Dale Yell, son. Pow, pow.